there are different stakeholders in any business and have they have different aspirations you as the founder or the promoter wants to scale but there are a bunch of other guys <coughs> investors bunch of people who don't have that desire to do so mm. uh, how do you kind of balance those multiple pulling forces and yet plow the path of of scale you have you've done this yeah. before so i'd love to get your story your perspective so i think the uh, one is you may have conflicts first of all you as the head of the business may have conflict with your own team mm -hmm. you may have conflict with your board of directors you may have conflict with your if you have a pe person then you person if you're a public company then you may have conflict with some of the analysts and your investors so you're right that uh, such conflicts will occur mm -hmm. and your key task is then to see whether whatever you suggest is it good for the business and that's and you need to have dialogue you cannot say i will do it and forget about it that is very important that you have a dialogue with each stakeholder especially if it is a large kind of investment or a big bet you are taking which will impact them uh, and i think you need to ideally speaking if you get a consensus that's the best option uh, if the dialogue itself will help you improve your proposition will expose you to the risk you have one you may have some blind spots <coughs> so i think it's very important to have a dialogue with all the stakeholders first initially internal the outside with the team and once um, that's crystallized then ideally speaking with the board of directors in that in that uh, order um, and then with the external investors uh, sometimes in spite of doing all that some of the stakeholders may say no I don't agree, and at that time you need to take a call with your board. Still, um, <coughs> there is uh, because ultimately I think it is your call. And sometimes uh, trying to get consensus, you don't want to have too much of a compromise decision. So if you have the courage of a conviction, then sometimes you may say that okay, I am taking this call in spite of what I heard from you, and. Uh, Just tell me this could be the implication, negative implication, but <coughs> there could be opportunities also. So I think ultimate call would be could be the head of the business. And you cannot get into too much of compromises. I am not saying that you don't have. You must have. You must try and arrive at a consensus. You must fill in all the blind spots. But still, at the end of it, if you think that you have, if you are on the right track. Because you have that inner, you may call it gut feel, or you may have conviction, or you feel that it's very important to do that. Especially if your team is backing you, I would take that. If the team is not backing you, then I would start getting worried because I cannot be a lone person where my team is not backing me, the board is not backing me, and the external investor. But if I have the backing of my team, I would I would try and take even if some external investor is saying no, I will try and convince them first. That is not the case. I will try and try and take this. If it anything to do with governance, I would not touch it. Anything to do with governance in terms of breaking some rules, then so it is out of question. But if it is a business, purely a business decision, then depending on what is the issue, I may I may decide to go ahead in spite of the law.